got myself some garden eggs, which I've not had in about five years in this country. I'm so excited. I'm going to whip up some garden eggs too. So I have here my cold beater. This is my salted fish. I'm going to add all these amazing ingredients here. Very simple, minimal ingredients, but it's going to be huge on taste. It's going to be a banger. Stay with me and let's do some cooking. I'm going to start off by cutting up my Kobe. So I can soak it. I'm going to transfer them into my bowl, wash, and then soak. You want to wash it very clean. And the stew is going to come from this Kobe. One more quick rinse. And water to soak. The next I washed, I'm just going to trim, cut them up, and boil. You just do not know how excited I am to have this. I'm going to add some water. You don't want that water to be too much so it doesn't boil over. I'm going to add my eggs that I've washed. The eggs are going to go in the stew, so I want to boil it now instead of with the yam. Yes, we are having this with some bayure ampesi. Bayure ampesi and kobi. That's what we are going to have. Add just a little bit more water. Now I'll cover and bring to a boil. My onion I'm going to divide into two. One half I'm going to blend. So just going to cut it up to go in my blender. I'm going to add two peppers. I've added a little bit of water. I'm going to cover and I'll blend these separate. I'm going to dice this, but not too tiny. A little bit of chunk. The chunk starts with the onion going in. Everything is going to be chunky in this too. So 
So tomatoes washed. I'm just going to tice it and it's totally up to you if you want to take out the seeds I don't mind the seeds in there so I'm just going to cut it up Now let's start making our stew. To my pot, I'm going to be adding some palm oil. About half a cup. Once the oil is all melted, I'm going to add my Kobe. I really don't want the oil to be too hot before I introduce the Kobe. So I don't want to bleach it or burn it. Not only are we getting the Kobe fry, we are infusing the fragrance of that Kobe here, right here in our oil. I think it's the perfect time for me to bring my Kobe out of the palm oil. Beautifully fried. Let's look at how gorgeous. Now I'm going to put my onion in the oil to fry. Oh, it smells divine. So I'm just going to flake my mackerel. Delicious. oil is fried not all the way that is how I want it to be I went ahead of myself and put the chopped tomatoes first I should have done the pepper and onion so I'm just going to add it right away so they're cooked together Which is still okay because if I had blended toma tomatoes, I would have blended it with the pepper and onions. I'm just going to rinse my blender a little bit. Voila. Gonna let this cook down. 
I'm going to cover partially so it doesn't splatter and make a mess. Checking on our eggplants. I almost burnt it. Delicious. 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 I'm blending it in together. Hmm? Can they be blended together? I don't. I want to cut this up. Where is the other man? Okay, you will take me. Okay, hey. Why are you? No one's having a hoodie. Oh. Won't cut. I'm going to make a good chicken. Maybe I'm going to make a hoodie. I'm going to blend the seeds. You thought I was going to waste it? No way. No way, Jose. I'm going to put some salt in here, being mindful that the Kobe is very salted. This is going to be very simple. Basic stew. I'm not going to add any bouillon or anything. Now I'm going to add my fish, the mackerel. I'm trying not to over stir so I don't let it all disintegrate. I'm going to cover back. Now my garden eggs I'm just going to roughly chop. Blended garden eggs. Yeah, I really crushed it. Definitely very tough on the seat. All right, I'm going to stir this. I'm going to add the chopped eggplant as well. There. I'm going to plant my Kobe in as well. I'm 
going to cover and let it simmer. So I'm going to put my eggs in here and let it simmer. The first time my mom tried this, it was just by accident. I mean, she wanted it to sit in there, but later on when we ate our food, we realized that the stew had seeped into the egg. The egg had really absorbed the stew and it was so good. So let it soak up. So still pretty much is done. We just want it to simmer down. Mm -mm -mm. So it has a splatter. Just look at that. Enough water. Okay, my stew is pretty much good now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off and wait for the yam to be done egg is definitely going to continue soaking the juices in here.
delicious, yeah, mm, delicious, dead out, delicious. 